Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Jeffrey. Today we're going to take a look at one of the eight minifigure models which was included on the U-Disc when I opened the LA Gumars 2 Pro. In my last video, we ran the test files and printed these two Rook models, which are very simple and have a self-supporting structure, which means you can run these through your print without having to add any additional supports. These advanced models that we'll be looking at today, I will be adding supports using Cheetu Box open software and then uploading it into the 3D printer and hopefully we will get either very successful prints or very bad failure. Either way, I still upload it. By the way, this will be my second print running on this machine. So let's do this. First thing we're going to do is open up Cheeto Box. We're going to get that open. Looks good. Hey, it looks like we have an update. Let's go ahead and update this. Yes, to 1.8. Looks like it took me to Cheeto Box website. And we're just going to hit install. Yes, keep it on English. And we're going to hit next. Agree. Okay. There we go. Hopefully this is quick. If you upgrade from another version, you can ignore this message. Right off the bat, I can tell this looks different. Right? Today we're going to do the first one. Human Female Wizard. Let's go ahead and import this. This is what we're going to print today. We're going to print off this model. Okay. All right. So if I go over to the support, you'll see all these gray little ticks everywhere. That's Cheeto Box saying that we need to add support there. I don't like how there are indicators on the face here so the best way we can do to avoid that is we can go back to this this view we can go to this rotate tool and we can try to rotate her just a little bit I'm just gonna I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bump this to 20 done all right let's switch back and try to add our supports so right here she's already lifted off the plate by five milliliters, which is good because we don't want to damage our model. So yeah, let's go ahead and zoom in again and see how many how many points of contact do we need to support now. See, it looks like we have two points, support points that we need to add. I'm gonna start off with some heavies, and we're gonna we're gonna look from underneath. I'll probably put three here, like one right here and one right here. Basically, anywhere we see red, we want to add, want to add some supports. By the way, you can also do this to kind of see how it builds over time. See here, these are like islands right here. So I'm gonna put a heavy on this piece. I'm just gonna add another one right here. Bam. We'll do a heavy there. I'm ready to print this. I think it looks good. All right, so make sure you get your your gloves and your mask. We're gonna make sure we're leveled, which we are. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the cover off. All right. So I'm gonna plug in my USB. Get out our resin. All right. I'm gonna shake this up really good. All right. Okay. So we're gonna pour this in really slowly. I'm gonna fill this up to like one third of the tank. 
Right now it's time to select our model and then we'll hit print. There we go, so I'm going to go ahead and cover it and put the lid back on. You guys enjoy. Our prints just finished, so it's time to take it out. Make sure there's no resin dripping off. So yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. I feel like we can go ahead and wash it. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna try and wash this. There you go. That was very easy. It wasn't super hard. While the print's inside, I'm just gonna wash the bill plate. Okay, so now let's put the, the resin back inside. All right, this is always the tricky part. All right, so like I'm trying to slowly pour out the resin. Then I just gotta clean this here, then I'm done. Now that we have washed our print, I'm gonna take it out and dry it. Let's get a paper towel. I'm just gonna pick it up. Now it's pretty soft. I mean, it's it's not hard and still feels very soft. So this is what it looks like after it's done printing in the 3D printer. It's time to put it in our UV curing machine. We're just gonna go ahead and put it inside here. Let's go ahead. 
and turn it on. All right, so I'm just going to leave it in there for like two to four minutes, and then we'll take it out. Got my clippers, which I'll use to cut off the supports. Actually, let's see first if we can just break it off. I don't know if we can. Yeah, let's just clip them off. Oh, that came off. Okay. That came off. Okay. This is so super tiny. Let's see what else can we take off here. So my plan is to just take off all the light supports off first before taking off the heavies. There you go, got that little piece off so this whole section should not come off. Got stuff stuck to her leg. There, I just got this one to move. Okay. There we go. This is super tiny. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can wash this, clean it up a little bit, and then I'll show you guys like a close up. Okay. This is a close shot up of the human female wizard. You can see her face. I'm sorry guys, it's like really hard to hold this still. So, your cloak. I'm gonna try to slowly rotate this so you can see all the angles See if we can focus in on this fireball. And then back on her face. Then her her books. Yeah. Alright, thank you guys for watching. We finally printed our human female wizard. This is the second print that I've run on the LA Goo Mars 2 Pro. Our first prints were these Rook models, which are 50 millimeters, and then the human female wizard is 28 millimeters. This minifigure came out very good. I'm very pleased with the detail, and for being my very second print, there's some light colored differences between like gray and a, like a light gray, which I'm not sure why. Some parts of it has like a dark gray. Again, this, uh, these are both using the same resin, the water washable photopolymer resin. You guys tell me what you guys think of the detail. Let me know down below if you think that based on the settings and the detail, if you think this is a good print or a bad print. Until next time, happy printing. Minifigure models 
which was included on the U-Disc when I opened the LA Gumars 2 Pro. <clears throat> Come on. Farting vehicle. These more advanced models that we'll be looking at. Um, start over. Okay, third try. Or they're going to be an epic failure. Either way, you're going to see the results.